So I was on Twitter recently and I saw a thread that that made me pissed off. So uh, I'm making a video now, I'm making it your problem. God, do you remember when Steven Universe used to be good? Because I do. It's uh it's one of the biggest disappointments of my life, really. It was like one of the best cartoons ever made. And and then it devolved into some some lore bullshit, it, it got bad. And I, I don't talk about Steven Universe in this channel because there's something about the show that makes people lose all fucking reading comprehension. I, I don't know what it is, some frequency in the show or some, some subliminal messages that makes all discourse surrounding it be fucking stupid. Like, I cover Lily Orchard in this channel. Uh, you, you guys know that I know, I know this fucking Steven Universe discourse more than anyone. I genuinely do not understand what people like see in this show for them to have this kind of opinions. If you actually see the first episodes of Steven Universe and you compare it to later episodes, like the things that were good about Steven Universe aren't there in the show anymore. Like if you liked the first episodes, the first seasons, you're not going to like the last ones because the things that were there are not in the last one. They're, they're not the same. They're not the same. They don't have the same qualities. I guess I'm being vague in order to avoid hate. Uh, I'm not going to go into like diamond discourse or whatever. I'm here to talk about about Pure Rose. Pure Rose is one of my OTPs. It's, it's a ship that I absolutely used to love. And she, you know, had a pretty big impact on the things that I write and the things that I like. As I have stated many times in this channel, I am a person that uh, loves extreme emotions. I think that if you're going to write a love story or a love poem or whatever, you need to be, you need to be strong about it, you know? You need to confess your undying love. You need to burn brighter than all stars in heaven that's uh my opinion is anyway and i i do love how intense the relationship that pearl and rose had were at least on pearl's side i love that intense devotion and i love how complex he really is because pearl made herself free because of Rose's influence. Pearl went from a slave to a free Pearl because of Rose's love. But she was also enslaved by it, kinda. It was really hard to let Rose go and she couldn't fathom living alone. She had to deal with that. And the thing about it is that Rose was an all-loving being. Rose loved humans, Rose loved life. And she didn't consider Pearl to be one of her priorities. Like, she tells Pearl to leave and go home because Rose would fight for the planet. She, Rose gave Pearl the choice to leave because Rose wasn't going with her. And that's what Pearl liked, that, that what Pearl loved about her. Pearl would not love Rose as much if Rose wasn't such a saint-like figure, if she didn't uh, sacrifice herself and fight for all people. That's one of the reasons she loved Rose, and this is the reason why she lost her. It wasn't meant to last. She was going to lose Rose eventually. And she did it anyway. She fought for Earth and they lived together for 5,000 years. And now she lost her woman to a SoundCloud rapper that lives in a van and now has to raise their child. 
I did really, really enjoy poor Rose, especially in the first seasons. Rose Scabbards, Warren to the Sword, those were top tier episodes for me. And it also goes without saying that it's really rare to see this kind of relationship between two women. Having a woman have this level of devotion for another. Uh, devotion so strong and the good thing is that rose also loved pearl you can see that because pearl used to be her greatest confidant pearl was the one that was protecting rose all this time they spent five thousand years together and pearl uh said that she didn't care that rose went around and fucked a lot of other guys, you know, because Rose would always come back to Pro. Those were only flings that wouldn't last. And she's mad at Greg because he was the one that won. He was the one that eventually took Rose from her, but all the others didn't, you know? It was good. It was good. It was. So apparently Rose was Pro's owner rose was pink diamond all this time and pearl didn't actually love her she was just conditioned to want to love her because rose owned her i i don't understand why they did this i i genuinely don't uh you already had like a good relationship it was already complex and it was already pretty adult it was already pretty good and you see the thing about plot twists is that usually when you put them in your work they make the story more complex they make the story more detailed and this is the opposite so you went from a complex relationship where rose was pearl's liberator and savior but also uh, held her captive without wanting to just by showing pearl affection and then she went from that to a literal like slave owner she was literally pearl's owner i'm going to be honest with you i didn't watch the ending of steven universe i dropped around i, I think it was a thing that uh steven went to homeward to have the trial and and lars died and came back and and connie was mad at her and and pearl was going to say to him something and, and Steven just interrupted her. You see, the thing about Steven Universe is that there are a lot of jabs towards their fans, which whatever, it's fine. You can criticize their fans if you want to. That one just felt very disrespectful. I was there, like actually watching the episodes as they come, as they were being released. And I was theorizing, I was having, I was having fun, but I was also waiting, I was also impatient because I wanted to engage with this show. So the uh, creators, the writers, decided to like mock me for this. Be like, oh wow, you actually wanted to see something? You actually wanted to see more information? Well, fuck you, I'm going to mock you now. And I took this personally, because I can. Because I can't take things personally, and so I did. And I stopped watching it. I was like, yeah, okay, so uh, is this is how they're going to treat me. Someone that actually looks forward to the episode, someone who actually wants to watch them. Uh, I guess I'm just going to uh, stop watching, and then I did. I only came back to watch the uh, review episode where uh, a single pair rose, where uh, Steven dives into Pearl and finds out that uh, Rose was being diamond and, and Pearl knew this, whatever, whatever, whatever. For my understanding, Pink Diamond did a lot of bad shit. Like, I don't care. I, I genuinely don't. That's not the reason why I started watching Steven Universe. I don't know, they released the movie. Apparently Pink Diamond did the equivalent of running over a dog and the dog is back for revenge. Like, I don't give a shit about this. I, it was never about this. Like, if you watch first in Civil Universe, it wasn't about this. It was about the humans in the city. It was about the gems going on city adventures with Steven. Like, I, I don't give a shit about whatever Pink Diamond did. But you can see how this, like, show became less complex, right? Because Rose was a complex figure that she wanted to do good. And she was essentially, like, a, a normal person she wanted to be a leader to the revolution 
but she had to keep making difficult choices that she didn't like. The thing about bismuth, for example, she had to bubble bismuth because bismuth was starting to do a bunch of shit that she didn't want her to do. She was start talking about about breaking gems, breaking the diamonds, and she didn't want the revolution to go this way. She didn't want too much of a bloodbath, so she needed to do the regrettable decision of bubbling, of bubbling bismuth. But then, after the review of Pink Diamond, apparently she's a brat, and apparently she didn't want, she just wanted to do whatever she wanted. And she bubbled bismuth because she didn't want to hurt her poor little family. This is, I, I don't fucking know. It doesn't help that a lot of fans are complete idiots. They start saying a bunch of stupid shit, of stupid interpretations. I've seen people say that the reason that Pearl uh, wanted to go out with the pink-haired human is because she <coughs> she was created to be Pink Diamond's pearl and she was made to imprint on pink which is uh, the dumbest thing I've ever seen like you seriously thought that she, she didn't just like have a uh, thing for pink because the person she loved the most in her life uh, was pink. Didn't think she just really liked the color or the person reminded her of someone that she liked. Good. Don't think that. You think that she was, it was literally an imprint from her time as a slave. The thing is, I don't think I can even blame the fans for being this stupid because the, the show actually does that, you know? She, the show actually goes out of their way to replace actual moments of human emotion, of genuine uh, feelings with lore bullshit. Because when you see uh, Rose Scabbard and Pearl starts talking about she is Rose's greatest confidant because she kept all her secrets, and you think, oh, okay, Rose clearly valued and trusted her a lot, and Pearl kept her secrets because she loved Rose a lot, too. They had a real, genuine comradeship. They have a genuine, great relationship. But then you, apparently, Rose cast a fucking spell on Pearl. That thing she did, you know, like this, uh, in one single pay rose it apparently was a, a sort of command that stopped pearl from saying the secrets yeah i guess it, it wasn't a good relationship where they mutually trust each other i guess uh i guess it's just a relationship between an owner of the owner of a slave telling the other slave to shut the fuck up remember that episode where they were showing the flashbacks of them on earth and Pearl started saying like oh because I keep imagining that you're actually a rose quartz and we met here on earth and and Rose tells you no no don't stop imagining that St keep imagining it's such a great story yeah it was it was such a great story so their relationship just fucking like they just completely wasted that it was great and it's not anymore uh the tweet that i saw in question was something about uh rebecca sugar is drawing fan art of her show posting it on the internet and showing like oh rose kissing bismuth and then the person like oh so rose kissed everyone except pro like rose was hooking up and fucking everybody except except for that was so obsessed with her and i'm like you you genuinely think that uh, Rose and Poirot didn't fuck? You, you genuinely you genuinely believe that? Honestly, I keep shitting on the fans of the TV universe, but on, I can't even blame them, honestly. I think that the show just shat their pants so hard. I don't even understand what they were trying to do, honestly. It's just a shame, really. But uh, at least the, we still have the first seasons, and it still completely changed my main chemistry. I still have to be thankful for that. God, it was so good. It was so good. Like that song, like, uh, you do it for her. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just love it. And I just love that dynamic of like complete devotion and obsession of loving someone that is much bigger than you and make to feel like, some, like something bigger too, of loving someone that doesn't love you back as much as you love them, that have their own objectives and have their own goals but to help them achieve that anyway 
God, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. Yeah, in spite of everything, uh, Pearl Rose was such a good ship. I, I wish we had more of that, but you know, hey, it's over, isn't it? I'm glad for what what we had.